Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn dynamic dependent select box by using jQuery Ajax with JSON data. In one of our previous video tutorial in which we have already made discussion on how to create dynamic dependent drop down list in PHP. In which we have used Ajax for load data under next select box from MySQL database using PHP script. So this type of dynamic dependent drop-down we have already made. But here we have do something different. Here we have stored data in JSON array file and by using Ajax jQuery we will load dynamic data in different select box as per requirement. Here we will not write any service script for fetching data from database, but we will use Ajax for fetch data from JSON file. So it will be very light on server and it will do all operation as client side and our website execution speed will be increased. For discuss this topic we have used country state city example to describe topic like how to make dynamic dependent drop down list by using Ajax jQuery. Here when we have select country then in next select box it will load state data and when we have select state name then in next select box it will load city data. Now let's start learn this topic. This is our simple JSON file which we have stored under our working folder. In this JSON file there is an array of data in which we have stored country state and city data. In this file array there is three key like id, name and parent id, in id key we have store unique id of array, in name we have store name of country, state and city and in parent id key we have store id of parent array. Here you can see, in first a parent id is 0 and id is 1 and name is USA, here parent id 0 means it is country name, same way here id for array its parent id is 1 which is an id of USA. That means it is state of USA. And lastly in it 11 array, name is New York City and parent it is 4. This is an it of New York which is state of USA and it is city of New York state. So this way we have make data structure for make dynamic dependent select box. Now we have moved to write HTML code on our index file. On this file we have already include JavaScript library jQuery file and bootstrap framework file on this page. We will use functionality of both library. After this we have write select tag with name is equal to country it is equal to country and under the select tag we have define on option tag with value is equal blank and in text we have write select country. Under this we will load country named with the id. Then after we have again write select tag with attribute name is equal to state, it is equal to state. Under this tag we have write option tag with value is equal to blank and under text we have write select state. Under this we will load dynamic state name based on selection of country. Same for load city we have write select tag with attribute name is equal to city, it is equal to city. Under this tag we have write option with blank value and in text we have write select city. Under this tag we will load dynamic city name based on selection of country and state select box. Now we have moved to write jQuery code for first load country name under country select box. So here we have write one function load JSON data with two argument like id and parent id. Here in it argument we will write it of select tag and in parent and we will write it of select adoption. For example we want to load country data, in it argument we will write country select box id country. Same way we want to load state data, so in it argument we will write state select box and state and in parent and we will write it of selected country. So when we have select any country then it will load state list in another select box. Under this function first we have defined one HTML code variable is equal to blank value. Under this variable we will store dynamic HTML code based on selection. Now we have write $getJSON method and under this method we have write two argument, 
In first argument we have right Jason file URL country state city Jason and in second argument we have right callback function. This method will fetch data from JSON file by using AJAX HTTP GET request and all has been stored in function data argument and here we have store JSON file in our working folder. After fetching data from JSON file, now we have write HTML code variable and in this variable we have option tag with value is equal to blank and under text we have write select with it variable. So here it will make dynamic option text based on value of id. Then after we have write dollar dot each method with two argument. In first argument we have write data and in second argument we have write callback function with key and value argument. By using this method we can fetch array of data one by one. Under this we have write of statement and under condition we have write it argument is equal to country. This condition will check if value of this it is equal to country then it will execute if block of code otherwise it will execute else block. Suppose it variable value is equal to country then it will execute if block and under this we have write of statement and under condition we have write value dot parented key is equal to zero. This condition will check if value dot parented variable is equal to zero then it will execute if block of code. In JSON file we have store all country name parented is zero so here we have write this condition and by using this condition we can filter country data from array. So under this block we have write HTML code variable and in this variable we have append HTML code like option with attribute value is equal to value dot it and in option text we have write value dot name. It will make dynamic country list select box. But suppose it value is not equal to country that means it will be state or city. Then it will execute else block and under this block we have write of statement and under condition we have write value dot parent it is equal to value of parented argument. This condition will check if JSON file parented value is equal to function argument parented value then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write HTML code variable and under this variable we have append HTML code like option value is equal to value dot and in option text we have write value dot name. This code will make dynamic select box for state or city. Now we want to store this HTML data into select box based on value of id. So here we have write dollar and in selector we have write hashtag with it variable with HTML method and under this method we have write HTML code. It will load data under select box based on value of id argument. Now we want to call this function on page load. So we have write load JSON data function and under it argument we have write country. So it will load country data under country select box. Friends you can see when page has been loaded then load JSON data function has been called with country argument. So it will load country data under country select box and here you can see country select box has been filled with country name. Now we want filled state select box based on selection of country name. So we have go to query code and here we have write dollar and under selector we have write document with on method and under this method we have write change event with country select box id country with function. So when we have select country name then this code will execute. Under this first we want to get the country id. So we have write variable country id is equal to dollar this with value method. By using this code we can get the id of selected country. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write country id variable value is not equal to blank. 
this condition will check if value of this country a variable is not equal to blank then it will execute if block of code otherwise it will execute else block. Suppose country aid variable has some value then it will execute if block and under this we have call no JSON data function, in it argument we have write state and parent it argument we have write county aid variable. So this function will fill state select box based on country selection. But suppose country aid variable has no value then it will execute else block of code and under this block we want to clear state and city select box. So here we have write this code, this code will empty both select box. Friends you can hear we have already filled country select box at the time of page load and state select box will be filled after selection of country select box. So here you can see three country like USA, Canada and Australia. So here we have select Canada and now we have seen under state select box so here you can see Canada state list. Same way we have change country selection from Canada to Australia, now we can see Australian state and state select box. So state select box has been filled dynamically based on selection of country. Now we want to fill city select box dynamically based on selection of state. So we have go to query code and here we have write dollar document selector with on method and under this method we have write change event with state select box and state with function. So when we have select state from state select box, this code will be execute. Under this first we want to get the value of stated. So we have write variable stated is equal to dollar this with value method, this code will return stated of selected state from select box. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write value of stated is not equal to blank, this code will check if value of stated variable is not equal to blank then it will execute if block of code otherwise it will execute else block. If suppose value of stated variable has some value then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have called load JSON data function with two argument, in it argument we have write city and parented argument we have write stated variable. This function will fill city select box based on selection of state, but suppose stated variable has no value then it will execute else block of code and under this we want to empty city select box by writing this code. Friends we have already filled country select box on page load and state select box on selection of country. Now we have fill city select box. So first we have select country USA, after selection of country USA, in state select box we can see state list of USA country, so under state we have select New York and after selection of New York in city select box we can see city list of New York state. So when we have not select any country from select box then state and city select box has been empty it has no option because they are dependent on the parent. So here we have make simple dynamic dependent drop down list by using query Ajax with JSON data type. This script is very light, because here we have not performed any server side operation, but we have do all things on client side. So if you have developed any web based application and in that application you have used any dynamic dependent select box, then you have option to use JSON instead of MySQL database table with jQuery Ajax. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial please comment your query under comment box, and if you like this video please share this video with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. Lastly if you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial please subscribe our YouTube channel for get update regarding future video publish. Thank you for watching this video and keep watching our video tutorial.